you have very likely seen it. Players practicing the service motion by standing at the baseline where I am, ball in hand, and throwing the ball forward over the net 39 feet in front of them. And doing it again and again and again. You may well have done it yourself. You may well have done it at the instruction of a teaching pro. Well, I am here to tell you that that version of the drill is wrong, to tell you why it is wrong, and finally, how to do the drill so that it more closely mimics the actual service motion. Mastering the serve ain't easy. In fact, it is among the most sophisticated and difficult motions in all of athletics. One of the primary reasons is that it requires you to execute two very different throwing motions, one with each arm. The first is an underhand motion, the toss. The second is an overhand motion, the swing. Today's video hones in on one of the most common ways that the serves overhand throwing motion is taught. So, here I am standing sideways to the net with a ball in my hand about to practice the overhand service throwing motion. And if I do it the way almost everyone does it, I will try to throw the ball forward over the net into the service box. And of course, this is supposed to mimic the throwing motion that propels the racket into contact with the tossed ball. But consider this simple fact. The tossed ball at which I will throw the racket when I actually serve is not over there towards the net. No, it's up there above me not in front of me. So if, as the drill presupposes, the ball is standing in for my racket, why am I throwing the ball forward in front of me? I should instead be throwing the ball upwards like this. Thus, one of the most common analogies drawn on to tell players how they should execute the motion is completely wrong, and that is the baseball pitcher analogy. We are told to mimic the pitcher's throwing motion, but the pitcher is throwing straight ahead, not up. In fact, since the pitcher's mound is raised, pitchers actually throw downward, exactly the opposite of the upward motion that brings the racket into contact with the ball when you serve. So, if you practice the service motion by throwing a ball, be sure to throw it upwards, not forwards. And here are two drills that might help you. First, stand at the baseline and throw the ball upwards so that it lands about halfway to the service line. That's nine feet in front of you. Ooh, that wasn't so good. That landed off to the side, and that was about 10, 12 feet in front of me. Let me try again. Much better. That one was about 10 feet in front of me, but it was straight ahead. That's where you're aiming for, nine feet. You may not get it exactly, but aim for that, that spot and get the ball as high as you can. Second drill, go outside the fence, as I have done stand close to it and throw sharply upward over it onto the court. Repeat each of these drills several times until you start to get the feel of it. Then go back to the baseline and hit some serves. And if you have or teach small kids and want to work with them on this, you can stand five or six feet in front of them. 
extend your arm and racket straight up and have them throw the ball over your racket. Yes, there's some risk of being hit as I have been on rare occasion, but they're small, they don't throw very hard so it won't hurt very much. Though I do recommend that you cover your face with your other hand just in case. And one last word. What I've demonstrated in this video is the throwing motion drill for flat serves. There is a different throwing motion drill for slice serves, which I will get to in a future video. And as for kick serves, well, I'm not sure that trying to mimic that motion as a throwing motion is helpful. Worse, I think it may actually impose stress on the shoulder since your throwing motion would have to pass pretty much over your head. Even if you execute that motion slowly and without a ball, you can begin to feel the shoulder strain. So much for the flat serve throwing drill. For a similar, though not identical, take on this subject, see the Micah Babel video, the link to which I've placed below. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below, and if you aren't already a Cross Court Rabbit Complete Tennis subscriber, please consider clicking the subscribe button down there to your right. Finally, and as always, Keep playing the greatest of all games, and I'll see you again soon.